Good afternoon and welcome to a review of the World's End Harem. Yes, we're on episode six. We're halfway through this episode. And I gotta say, I'm gonna say this one thing and I'm gonna say it. This show kind of dropping me now. I'm serious. I'm serious, guys. Like, despite the effortness that they gave us in this episode, despite the effortness, it's not feeling like what we expected from the manga World Edge Harem. Because World Edge Harem is getting deeper and deeper, but still, not what I expected from this. Sure, it has a low rating of a 6.8, you know, 6.7, I forgot. But the reason why it's so low is because deep down, this show itself ain't going to get a second season. Which, by the way, where's Redo of Healer? Second season. Now, come on. Redo of Healer in the second season, but what about Domestic Girlfriend? Those two shows, I can see that needs a second season. And I look at World's End's Harem. Ain't no way this show is going to get a second season. Ain't no freaking way. Now, before I do my review of this, I got to say, I bought the Rent-A-Girlfriend box set. I got all Sumis. I can't wait to build a straight-up Sumi deck. I kid you not. Now, other than that, let's get right to it with the review of the World's End's Harem Episode 6 review. Let's do it. So... Discovery about the virus and everything else. You know, we got to be, you know, everybody hates the MC. I'm dead serious. You know, and I'll be honest, I hate him too. I'm starting to hate him. And I'm starting, and, well, and I started reading the manga, but as I slowly am reading the manga, I'm almost hating him too. I'm like, Reto, don't get me wrong. I understand what he's doing for humanity. I get all of that. But for a guy who's not smashing any women, he sucks. The, we can, can we make an argument that he's the worst MC of all time? One of the worst? Yes. But we can't argue the fact that at least he's doing, doing something for greater good instead of his dick. You know what I mean? Instead of just thinking about having sex with all well, the women he got, he only cared about human mankind and stopping the MK virus. Okay. Because he made a promise to the girl he loves and all that. We get all of that. But I'm saying for retrospect purposes, if we had, if you wake up and the population is all women and they ask you to make them to rebirth the population, would you do it? The answer is absolutely freaking yes. The guy's not doing it. Now that he knows the cure, now he knows about how the MK virus is. The whole thing about him is trust. Who did he trust in his harem? Like, right now, he didn't even trust his harem. And he didn't even trust the UWs or the refugees out there. He don't know who to trust in terms of about the MK virus. Because the old lady, the photo, and the ring that he got from his girl before is all connected to the virus. And now he's trying to figure out, okay... Who I need to trust to understand this virus? Excuse the bright, bright light ratings out there. Excuse the whole brightness. Now, let's talk about the number one guy. The harem guy who keeps smashing all women. Let's talk about him for a second. He's getting bored with his harem life. No, I'm serious. He's getting bored. Because the whole thing, he's smashing all these women. He got all the three with women, you know. But it's not enough. He feels that... He's smashing the same women over and over again, and it's not enough. He wants new tastes. He wants something else involved. And his and his assistant, she ain't doing nothing. Like she's one of those harem girls that just watch on the sidelines and don't want to join, be part of it. Kind of like redo of healer. And I'm gonna compare redo of healer for a bit. Remember how Kiryu, the healing hero, one of the best male protagonists of all time, should have been up there at anime awards. He's got the princess. He got the sister. Her, uh, he got Princess Flair. He got the sister. He got Cessna. And he got and he got the sword hero. Well, not the the current sword hero that, you know, the sword woman. I can't carry up, but my point is, and then you got Eve, the demon lord, who who didn't smash, who, who, who didn't want to be part of his harem, but later on it did. But I ain't going to spoil that much. But, like, but you get what I'm saying? That's what happened. So this MC just going his limousine, you know, and I mean, that's how the group is. So he's all thinking about who you want to smash next. 
And then right off the gate, he wants to smash the MC sister. Why? Why? First of all, that's his sister. You don't do that. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Even the MC, even Reto himself, doesn't want nobody to be close to his sister. Now, I'm, it's not you sugar no sorrow, Ralph. That's not what I'm saying. But there's no way Rito is going to let some some random guy, well, one of the five guys from popul one of the five guys to rebirth the population will actually smash his sister. I mean, smash some guy's sister. He ain't going to do that. That's why, and I like I like how Rito's sister kind of rejected it because this is the first time he said he accept rejected. Because remember, remember, as soon as he wakes up, he smashed any woman. But now that he's understanding, like, oh, easy to get, it's easy to get, uh, rebounded. So now he's understanding it. His harem has some pros and some cons. The good and the bad. Now he's starting to understand it. If he could stop thinking about smashing a woman, he should be thinking about a woman's feelings. That's the thing. That's the, that's that's what I hate about the that's what I hate about the um that's what I hate about him. Sure, he got all the women in the world he wants to smash, but he's not thinking about their feelings. They're just doing it because they want to. The UW is telling them to go mate with them, mate with these guys. But he's not looking at it from the emotional standpoint of them. He's not. Soto. Now, Soto. Soto has a better backstory than, than all the other guys. I'm sorry to say this. Soto has another... Soto has... A, a, a better backstory than all the other guys. Um, that's all I'm saying. Now, uh, now again, you know the doctor. I like the doctor. She she's nice. You know, finding out who poisoned old lady. And she assumed that it was her. I forgot her name. My name. The uh, name's kind of like Joe on the back. But but what good thing about this episode was that some Yuri. We have the Yurifications. We finally got a Yuri moment here. We we got some Yuriness and slash incest route because. Yeah, I remember them. Uh, there was a scene where they were trying to rape the sister, uh, rape her sister, and then she's like, "Oh, Nisha!" And then they kissed. <laughs> the little sister kissed the big sister. I'm like, "What the hell?" She's like, "Oh, Nisha!" All that she kissed her, and then she, she's like, "Anything for you, big sis." I'm like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" Now, uh, now, Miria is best girl in the world says him. She's best girl. There's no denying it. There's no denying it at all. I'm just saying like that. There's no denying it. She's the best girl. And it was... Now, Reto himself, he's trying to make an underground basement to make sure no one would then get caught by the by anybody who knows about the MK virus. The UW is... It, let me put this. Do you... This is something... Again, we're talking about the world we don't trust. This is what the world and him is showing us. There are some groups that you don't trust. You can have a harem of your own, but is that one girl in your harem that you do not want to, that you don't want to trust at all? And just like in this episode, we found out. I mean, he was going to be assassinated. They were going to snipe them in the head. But leave it to the sister to leave it to um, her little sister to uh, to help him. But then you feel like that love connection is coming coming around because. She plays the yandere, I mean the sundere role really well to a point where she's like, no, I don't love him. I'm just protecting him because I don't want, it'll be sad if he goes. So I was like, okay, she's playing the sundere role. We know where this is going to lead. We see how this works. We see how this works. But basically, there's some innovative plot twist that's coming along, right? So Oral's and Terrell episode six, I was, it was okay. It was okay. I mean, like I said, with we get to see more of the you know hero we get to see more of him given the fact that he now realize he doesn't want any other women but the sister so now i'm like oh my god he's gonna end up in that row but i hope for, hopefully well i'm not gonna spoil any much because i know some of you haven't read the world's ends harem but like i said the world ends harem i didn't like the direction it's going because of what is going on right now and I say this with a passion. This show does not need a second season. We want redo of Healer or Domestic Girlfriend. 
Hell, I'll slide this one in. Interspecies Reviewers needs a second season. Those are the three shows I will need a second season. I look at World's End's Harem. Doesn't really need that much. Given episode six today was okay with a few twists in there. It was still all right. It was all right of a show. And even though we got some fan service going on, high quality fan service and some uriness, you know, it's really it's okay. Good. But still, it's not much as we, we expected from like on a redo of Healer domestic girlfriend vibe. It's not feeling at all. So episode six was okay. The plot twist is getting there. I look forward for next week's episode of The World's End Town. And let's see where this, let's see the direction of it is. Will it get better or will it, let's see where it goes in that direction for next week's episode of World's End Town. And I'll see you soon.